Hey everyone, my name is Tori and today's video is going to be my recent empties. I don't know how many months it's been, I'll put it in the title up here, but it's been a while since I've done my empties video and I have a ton of stuff to talk about, so let's just jump into it. We're gonna just pull from the top because there is so much. <laughs> actually start with these two empty clean skin club boxes so these are the clean towels I got the extra large ones they're sold on Amazon I have them on like an auto like subscription delivery option um, sometimes if you choose like the auto renewal you can get a discount so that's pretty cool so I get these delivered every I think every like two months at this point now this has truly been like game changing for my skin. Um, I am struggling with acne as an adult uh, for the first time in a really long time. So really important to me to use things that are, you know, clean. So if you don't know, these are a single use, 100% biodegradable towel. So they look like this. They come and they're just like filled up in this box. They're pre-folded. Um, they have a bit of a more like, not rough texture, but like an exfoliating texture on one side um, and a little bit softer and smoother on the other. They're slightly exfoliating, um, but they're really absorbent. And I really like them because they are clean. So whenever I'm washing my face morning or night, I use one of those. And honestly, I've seen a huge difference in the like additional breakouts on my skin. So it really cuts down on that. So if you are struggling with acne, I definitely recommend giving this a try. If you hear any snorting in the background, my pug is like running around beneath my feet. So that's what that is. <laughs> I have a skincare product and this is the CeraVe moisturizing cream. I got the one with the pump on it, which is my favorite. At some point though, it stops pumping out. Once you get to the very bottom, you have to scoop it out with your hand anyway. But this is the like value size one. They come in a pack of two at Costco. These, this is just my favorite. I have gone through so many of these. I talk about these all the time. So I use these morning and night, uh, fragrance free, really great for sensitive skin, super hydrating, but not gross. Love this. And here's another one. <laughs> Next is actually something that is kind of old that it's just, it went bad. I didn't use the whole thing like I thought that I would. This is the Tan Lux The Butter. So this is the Illuminating Tanning Butter. It's just a lotion, like gradual tanner. It's pretty expensive. This brand, Tan Lux, is like very, it's like very high-end brand of self-tanner. I do think the products are good, but they're just so expensive. You can get a lot of their stuff at Ulta. Um, I think they're sold at Sephora too, but I actually got this on QVC, I think. They were doing some like big sale on it and you can get this value size for a really significant discount. I was really looking for something that I could use to maintain my self tan in between applications. While I did really like this, I don't think I would repurchase it. Number one, because it's just super expensive for what it is. Honestly, Jergens Natural Glow, like <laughs> that lotion is great and really does kind of the same thing. I do think this color is a little bit better. Um, it's a little more of an olive tone than like the Jergens one can pull a little orange. The smell was nice, uh, but the thing I really didn't like about this that made me not use it up completely and it's just gone bad because I just avoided using it, which is unfortunate because of how expensive it is, is because illuminating tanning butter means it has shimmer in it. <laughs> that was just a huge turn off for me because I wanted to use it at night. And then even if I was like using it during the day, I just, I just didn't like that. I didn't want it getting on my clothes and my sheets, that sort of thing. And like, I didn't really notice like the color transferring. I just didn't like that I had so much shimmer. Uh, it was a very fine shimmer. It just wasn't for me. So I prefer my like gradual self tanning lotions to not have that in it. So had I known that I probably wouldn't have purchased it. Next up, oh, I love this stuff. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. And I actually ended up getting this in a big like jug with a pump on it for my shower. It smells so good. Um, I'm sure you've heard about this. It just, yeah, the smell is great. It's kind of sweet, kind of warm. I feel like it could pull summer vibes, but it could also be really great like winter fall vibes because it's cozy, um, but still fresh. It's a really, really great fragrance. It lingers pretty well. I love this formula as well, this like cream gel texture. It's just, it's not too thick, but it's thick enough to be hydrating, but it doesn't leave a film on your skin. It's just a really great balance. So this is a really great, I think more like higher end kind of treat yourself shower moment. So I really love this. And um, yeah, I would definitely repurchase it. I have repurchased it. Next is a dry shampoo, and this is by the brand Batiste. This is the Blush Flirty Floral Fragrance. I think the packaging on this is really cute. I have gone through so many of these over the years. I really love this one, and then the like exotic tropical fragrance. Smells kind of coconutty. Smells really good. This one smells a little more, yeah, like floral, very girly, feminine, perfumey kind of, um, but not overwhelming to where it's like too much in your hair. If I could choose between this dry shampoo and then my Living Proof one, honestly, I would choose the Living Proof. I do feel like it absorbs oil a little bit better than this one, but for the price point, I would definitely go with Batiste. Next up is another Sol de Janeiro product. This is the Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. It's like a giant 
lip balm. So use it all the way down. It took a really long time to go through. I actually left it in my lunch box at work and I would like reapply it when I was finishing, finished eating lunch. So that's how I ended up finishing it. It doesn't, it doesn't smell great. <laughs> Um, I was really disappointed. I feel like I got this. I don't know if I got this in a set or bought it separately, but it does not smell like the regular, like the body wash, the, um, the lotion, like the boom, boom cream. It does not smell the same. It just smells like plastic. Like it does it. If you close your eyes and you smell this, you would have no idea that it was sold de Janeiro. It does not smell good. Um, it was like very average lip balm. It was basically like chapstick like chapstick brand and chapstick brand is better. I would prefer chapstick anyway. So I would not recommend this at all. Actually <laughs> next is the CeraVe healing ointment. And I use this like crazy. I've gone through two huge things, like two of these. Um, I'm currently actually back on Vaseline. I mean, they truly, they work very similarly, a little thinner, slightly thinner than Vaseline. Um, but it does pretty much the same thing. I apply this on my lips at night. You can use it on like dry cracked skin, like in between your fingers, like your cuticles, anything like that. I've actually used it underneath my eyes as an eye cream. Um, I've mixed it in with lotion. Like you can just use this in so many different ways and it is just the best. It's the best. Next is a product my husband actually used up. This is the Dove Deep Moisture Body Wash and I use this a couple times in the shower. I mean, I really like this. I don't think it's like anything special, but it's a really great basic body wash. It smells just like, you know, Dove soap. Uh, just like, like clean soap. Uh, I think it does do a good job of hydrating the skin. So if you're looking for something that was more gentle and that was hydrating, this is a good option and it smells nice. Next up is the Tree Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. And I actually initially bought this because I heard, I don't know why, how am I talking so much about this today? I heard that this was a dupe in fragrance to the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream and that whole line. It's not. Um, I mean, it still smells really good, but they're not like they're not dupes. I would say like they're maybe long distance cousins, but if that, I think that's where they were going with this. Like they were trying to dupe that, but it's not the same thing. I think if you liked this old de Janeiro fragrance, you would like the tree hut fragrance, but they're not the same. This tree hut fragrance, in case you were wondering, I think it's like, I don't know, maybe a little fruitier, a little less warm. This is almost, this Sol de Janeiro is almost a little more gourmand feeling than the Tropic Glow fragrance from Tree Hut. This was just a sugar scrub. I think it had a little bit of like very, very fine shimmer in it, which, you know, was fun. And I really liked it. I love the sugar scrubs from Tree Hut. So I would definitely repurchase it because I do think that the scent was really great. I really liked it. Um, but I would not purchase this if you were hoping for it to smell like this. This fragrance is a little more summertime to me, whereas this one, if I'm comparing them, feels more like cozy, warm gourmand, foodie, summertime a little lighter. Next is a travel size CeraVe moisturizing cream. I mean, enough said, right? It's got the little cap on it. I love this. I love it. I I can't live without it. Ooh, a travel size Batiste exotic tropical coconut fragrance. I love these. I buy them in three packs off Amazon. I keep one in my work bag. I keep one like in my little travel bag, like ready to go. I just like, I can't live without these either. Let's do some hand soap. So first two I've got from, they're all, I have four. They're all from Bath and Body Works. Gentle Foaming is my favorite. Um, these two are, we've got Treat Yourself and Moonlit Flurries. So Treat Yourself is Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. This is my favorite hand soap fragrance. The fragrance notes are marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. Very foodie, very gourmand, very vanilla. Um, caramel, not as heavy. I'd say it's heavier in the vanilla note, but it smells just good. It's still lightweight though. It's not like a... Um, a heavy, sickly sweet gourmand. It's a lightweight gourmand. Ooh, I love it. Moonlit Flurries, the fragrance notes are Cozy Sandalwood, Warm Clove, and Winter Vanilla. This one was just okay. I think I really liked the packaging, but for me, it was kind of like, it gives a little men's cologne mixed with just like a very standard hand soap that you would find in like a hotel bathroom kind of thing. So really great for like a guest bathroom fragrance. I love the packaging, the color, all of that. I just like probably wouldn't buy it again. I didn't love the fragrance. And the scent lingered a little bit too much on your hands when you were done washing them. Second two and last two hand soaps are Lakeside Life and White T-shirt. And actually I just really got these, I really think because of the packaging, um, they match my house. So White T-shirt is crisp pear, lavender cloud, and soft sandalwood. I didn't really like this. It's just okay. Again, it's like maybe a soap you'd find in a restaurant bathroom. 
which is fine, but I just like, it wasn't anything special, but I did like the packaging. And Lakeside Life, the fragrance notes are bergamot, wild sage, and touch of evergreen. This one I think comes out with the fall collection. And I liked this one as well. I've used it before. I think it's a really great, just like standard hand soap. Again, it's like men's cologne with a hotel or restaurant bathroom hand soap. Very basic, good guest bathroom fragrance. Um, scent lingered a little bit. I think the white t-shirt scent lingered a little bit too much. Lakeside Life was, eh, I don't know, just not my favorite, you know, not my favorite. If I could go back in time, I would just buy a ton of the Boardwalk Vanillacone and call it a day. <laughs> Next up, I have a shower gel from Bath & Body Works, and this is the Candied Violet Sorbet. And fragrance notes in here, sugared violet petals, vanilla sorbet, and blackberry swirl. Very heavy, like, vanilla blackberry. If you like their, uh, the name escapes me, blackberry something. There's some sort of fragrance that Bath & Body Works used to have that had the word blackberry in it. If you took that and made it sweeter, that's what you would get with this. But it's also very heavy on the violet. Um, like, I feel like the balance of the three notes are very very equal. Like you can smell all three of them very apparently. I think if you loved violet specs, like specifically, you would really like this. It definitely smells very, um, light, fresh, fruity with like a touch of floral because the violet, it smells so good. I really, really like this one. This is a really great springtime fragrance. Next I have a shampoo and this is the Virtue Flourish shampoo for thinning hair. Um, my hair is falling out. It's, you know, it's happening. Um, it's thinning. It's kind of starting to shed a lot more than I think maybe it should be. Um, so I wanted to give, you know, Virtue Flourish line a try. A good friend of mine actually recommended it. Really worked well for her. Um, so I was using the shampoo and conditioner. I did notice a lot of new growth around my hairline while I was using it consistently. Um, and then I was also pairing it with the Ordinary Peptide Density Serum. I got it at Ulta. I think it was a good combination. Now I haven't, since I'm out of it and I didn't go repurchase it, they're just it's so expensive. Um, for just the shampoo and the conditioner together, it was like over $80 to repurchase it. I just, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to find other alternatives to, you know, help my hair grow back. Um, but that, you know, all that to say, I probably would repurchase it because I do think it works. It does leave your hair not feeling like super soft, but I think it's just because of the ingredients in it. Um, the shampoo, like, feels a little drying. Um, the conditioner helps combat some of that sh the dryness from the shampoo, but I definitely think it's because of the active ingredient and in it. it just makes your hair feel a little dry. Next up, I've got some sun care. This is the Sunbum Face 50, um, just a face sunscreen, SPF 50. I actually bought this for our trip to Hawaii and um, I think it's gone bad. We didn't fully use it up and really the reason why is because uh, it's, I'm pretty sure it's a chemical sunscreen, if I had to guess. I don't think it specifically says it's lightweight, fragrance free, breakout free. Yes, but I'm pretty sure it's chemical sunscreen. And I say that because if this gets in your eyes, game over. <laughs> like this was so, this burned and stung our eyes so bad. And my poor husband, he put this on when we went on a hike and um, it got in his eyes and he, we didn't have like a, I don't know, like an extra towel or something like wipe his face off. And his, he was doing this like the whole hike. So I just felt really bad. So we're not no, I wouldn't recommend this if you have really sensitive eyes. Um, or I mean, you could use it, just don't put it around your eyes. Other than that, it's, it doesn't really leave a white cast. It's a little greasy looking, but not bad. And the formula of it is like super, super runny. Uh, you know, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but I did um, to like use more of it up before it expired. I would use it on the backs of my hands when we would go hiking and it was perfectly fine for that. Next is, I have another SPF. This is the Beauty of Joseon, Joseon. I believe it's a Korean skincare brand. Um, it's the, what is this even called? The Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotics SPF 50. This was my daily use sunscreen, like under my makeup. I put it on in the morning. I've also used them back my hands, down my neck, chest. I love this. Um, I'm actually almost done with my second tube of this and I bought another one because I love it that much. It's fragrance free, super gentle, very lightweight. It didn't break me out, um, but it is, it is a little more on the hydrating side to the extent that like, if, yeah, if you're very oily in the teasing, this might not be a great fit, but if you're combo to dry, I think you'd really like this. And I think the price point is very reasonable. Um, I get it on, I bought my next tube on Yes Style. So it's kind of hard to find, but I really like this. And this was a Whitney Simmons recommendation. I love her. Last two things for sun care are sunburn items. Um, I went to Charleston recently for a girl's trip with three of my best friends and I got roasted on the beach. And I actually put on sunscreen, but I waited too long and I didn't put any on my legs. 
I was under an umbrella and I, I was like, oh, it'll be fine. I'm like in the shade the entire time. I got burnt to a crisp under that umbrella on my legs. I I feel kind of dumb about it, but you know, here we are. So I needed some sunburn care. I have this sunburn cool down. It's just like an aloe gel. Um, I bought it at the little shop that was by the beach. I bought it because I thought everybody else was going to be sunburned. I genuinely did not think I would get, I was going to be sunburned. Like I genuinely thought it would be everybody but me. So I bought this with the intention of having everybody apply it before bed and it, it I needed it. So we all shared this bottle in Charleston and uh, we're, you know, here we are. <laughs> it worked really well. It was pretty lightweight. Um, nothing like super specials, cooling aloe gel, that kind of thing. It absorbed pretty well. So it was good, you know, but it was really the only thing that was there in the store to choose from. But I liked it. I don't know if I'd buy it again, though. It's kind of expensive for what it is. But the star of the show is this. This is the Maximum Strength Allocane Emergency Burn Gel. If you have a sunburn, this is what you need. It has 4% lidocaine. I have used this before. I got like a weird, you, you ever applied sunscreen and you missed a spot? I got a weird sunburn this big on my knee uh, a couple years ago and I bought this for it because I heard like good reviews or I don't know, I saw it on Google, whatever. And uh, I bought it on Amazon and this was really great. It is a super thick, clear gel that you spread up across your sunburn and it's very soothing because it has a lidocaine in it um and it kind of forms like a film so it's a little gross in that way um because when it dries it's literally like if you play with elmer's glue and you can kind of like peel it off that was what this does um but i mean it coats your sunburn and really helps to heal it so i would definitely recommend this i always keep a tube on hand you don't want to have to order it on amazon and wait for it to get to you you want to have this. So I would definitely recommend it. It's pretty inexpensive. You can get it on Amazon. Next, I have two candles. And the first one is from Bath & Body Works. This is the fragrance Pumpkin Clove. And I actually got this for this fall season. I'm currently burning through my second and last Pumpkin Clove candle. Um, the fragrance notes are clove buds, ground cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, fresh pumpkin. This smells quintessential fall. Like if you've ever walked into a um, an at-home store, before it was called at-home, it was called Garden Ridge. This is what it smells like. Um, it's just the perfect like pumpkin spicy fall fragrance. I love this. I loved it in the wallflower bulbs, but they didn't bring it back in the bulbs this year. So I just got two candles instead. Um, and you can see there is some wax left. What I'd like to do with these that I figured out how to do and I'm really excited about. Um, two things, you could do a candle warmer, which I wanna get. I found a really cute one on Amazon, but you can do like if it stops, the wick stops lighting. I put these in the freezer. It freezes the wax and then you can like pop the wax out. I put it in a plastic bag, label it, and then I put it in my like Scentsy uh, like wax warmer. Use them like, you know, you buy like cubes of wax that you melt in your little glass dish with a light. Yeah, it's like that. So, <laughs> so this candle will go on to have many more lives um, in my wax warmer. So I'm really excited about it. So yeah, so this one is going in the freezer. This next candle is actually a new brand that I discovered and I am weirdly obsessed. This is the Callion Wax Company. The fragrance is apples and maple bourbon. And the fragrance notes are sweet apples, cinnamon, and vanilla. This smells so good. <laughs> um, you can see here I burnt it all the way down. I have not tried the like freezing wax method with this. This is like a natural candle, so it's soy. I don't know if that would you know behave any differently. I would assume it wouldn't, but I'm gonna try it and see what happens. I also really love this jar. I feel like I could reuse this for something. So all of that to say, it smells really good. This is like a very, it's a very sweet fall candle. Um, if you like apples, kind of like a fruity, mapley, yeah, apple-y fall vibe, this is it. The pumpkin clove, I mean really, cause the clove note, right, is definitely spicier. If you like a more fresh fruity apple vibe, I would go with this one. I also really like this brand because they burn clean. So I don't get too much into that because um, you guys know how much I love my Bath & Body Works candles. Anytime I light a candle, especially the Bath & Body Works one, I always open a window um, so there's air circulation. I don't think that these are great for us to be breathing in. So I don't know about all that. I do notice a difference when I burn this when I burned this candle in this brand. Um, I didn't get the headaches that I will sometimes get with the Bath & Body Works candles. So there's that. I bought a few more of this brand and a couple different like Christmas fragrances. So I'm excited to see how that goes, like different sizes, that sort of thing um, throughout the Christmas season. And they smell really good. They have a lot of really, really great fragrances um, and they donate a percentage of all of their profit from all of their sales to um, 
to end human trafficking, which is really, really great. So really great cause there. I think it's maybe a smaller business as well. Candles are more expensive, um, but you know, they're good quality and they go to a good cause. So if you're looking for something like that, you can get these on Amazon, you can get them on their website, and then you can also do, they sell them in Whole Foods, like a small selection. So that's where I got this one. Next up, I have some eye products. And this first one is the One Size Point Made Bodacious Black Liner. This is the felt tip. Love this one. I've used this multiple times. I'm already using a new one. Gets like a perfect dark black sharp line. I love it. This next one is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I have used this up a million times. You already know that I love this. Kind of a bigger spoolie, a little bit of a bigger and it's not like a micro fine brow pencil, but really great, it does the job. I finished up a Physician's Formula waterproof liquid liner. This I like this one because it has a brush tip, and honestly, I used to prefer this Physician's Formula over the Point Made one size liner. I'm kind of at the point where I prefer the one size. I, I'll, I feel like at some point I'm gonna circle back to this Physician's Formula one just because I love it so much. The only issue is that this Physician's Formula one, every so often I'll get one that will leak, um, and I haven't had that issue with this point made liner so I can really you know buy it one time and rely on it to like use it up for its whole lifespan whereas the physician's formula you just never really know if it's going to start leaking could also just be because I traveled with it but yeah so I like opened the cap and it kind of exploded which was really unfortunate I mean besides for that this is a really really great product I really love them both but right now I'm kind of more into this one size one than I am the physician's formula and honestly the price point is not that far off got two mascaras I used up and I I know they're not L'Oreal and Maybelline like who am I this first one is the tower 28 make waves mascara and I have to say this is a new favorite I think I'm at the point where I could buy this tower 28 mascara and just have this one mascara layer it up a couple times and it looks like my layered method that I've been doing since middle school high school i'm like <laughs> shocked how much i love this it's got the um like the plastic i don't know rubber wand it's kind of curved it's pokey uh it's it's just so good it's such a good mascara it doesn't transfer or bleed it doesn't flake it comes off really easily and you can layer it to get a really really like intense look or you can just use one layer if you like something a little more subtle i'm so impressed by it that i actually just purchased three tubes of it at the Sephora VIB sale. I know. Next up is the Benefit Roller Lash. Actually, this brush looks very similar to the Tower 28. I think this formula is fine. I used to love it. And I think just for the price point where it is now, it's just not the best. I prefer the Maybelline Lash Sensational and of course the Tower 28 to this Benefit Royal Roller Lash. You're going to get better results with both of those options than you will with this one. I'm actually layering the L'Oreal Lash Paradise with this Benefit Roller Lash. I mean, it looks good, but the, the Roller Lash transfers to my brow bone. And that's really all there is to it. Like by the end of the day, it's like all up here. And I just don't want to be worried about my mascara like transferring or smudging. And if I use this Tower 28 or the Maybelline one, I don't have to worry about that. So because of that, I won't be repurchasing. But I do have another one of these that I'm using up because I bought it in a set of two at Nordstrom for like a really good deal. So, you know, for extreme discount, it's great. But like for full price, no. Two other mascaras that I tried. I got these little like deluxe size samples, deluxe travel size. Um, this Ilia one actually was from, I think the Sephora birthday gift. This is, this is just okay. But yeah, the issue is that this went bad so fast and it smells gross. I hadn't even opened it. I feel like maybe I'd had it for a couple weeks. I opened it and I applied it. Um, and it was okay. And then I, you know, went back to use it again. And I kept feeling like every time after that I would use it, I would smell something weird and I couldn't figure out what the smell was. And I'm like smelling everything. It was my eyelashes, cause it was this mascara. <laughs> it just, it went bad so fast and it smells funky. So I was like, okay, I'm done. So I would not buy this again. Like it looked fine, but it just, it went bad really fast and it stinks, so there's that. Next up is probably, unfortunately, one of the worst mascaras I've ever tried. This is the Benefit Their Real Magnet. And unfortunately, I have another Benefit Their Real, just Their Real mascara and I don't even want to use it because I, I mean I don't know how different the formula is going to be from this magnet one let me kind of so here's the, the wand it's a plastic wand it seems like something I really like so I like the plastic spiky wands um you know you have to be careful because you'll poke yourself in the eye but I think with this one it was just the amount that this smudged was insane it was all over my brow bone and then underneath my lash line like 
it transferred so bad and so quickly uh, within within 30 minutes to an hour of applying it, it would already be transferring. And all day long, I'm trying to like wipe it off. And I just, I, I don't, nobody's got time for that. I don't wanna do that, especially for the price point. My lashes looked really good with it on, but it just does not wear well at all. So I would definitely not recommend this. Next is the Fresh Sugar Rosé. Is this a lip treatment? The name has rubbed off. I don't even know what they call it. Got a little bit left but it's so old, I'm kind of like, yeah, I probably shouldn't finish that. It has a slight red tint to it. On your lips, it just looks like a fresh, like a fresh red color, but it's not too much. It's pretty sheer. It smells like kind of a sweet, sugary lemon. I love this. This has SPF in it. This is one of those products that I have loved for years. Will I go out and actively repurchase it? Probably not, but I do really love it, if that makes sense. Um, they also have like, I love all of their lip treatments in this line. I tend to go for more of the sheer colors or the ones that don't have any color. I used to be obsessed with the original one that was like completely sheer. And um, it just, it it's hydrating. It's not too thick, but it's just, it's just enough. And it looks really nice on the lips. So definitely something I would recommend, but not necessarily something I will go out and repurchase. I think really just because I just have so many lip products I'm trying to you know, and use and enjoy. Um, I don't want to get another one of this and have it go back. So it is kind of expensive. Their lip products are so good. Speaking of lip products, this is the Dior Lip Glow Oil and mine was in the shade Raspberry 007. I love this. I love it. I love it so much that I bought another one. <laughs> and this one is in the shade Rosewood. So I just wanted to try a new color. Um, they're both, they both go on a little more on the sheer side. Like this is a pretty bright pink, as you can tell with the applicator. When it goes on, it doesn't go on that bright. It's like a kiss of color, it's just a little bit. This formula is just that good. It's that good. It's, it's thick without being too thick, very hydrating. It smells really good. It's kind of like a, I don't even know, like a sweet, florally perfume that makes it sound weird i don't know how to describe it i feel like it's unlike anything i've ever smelled before um it's a very unique fragrance but i really like it it's long lasting without being like sticky and gross and it makes your lips look really smooth and hydrated and it feels good and just all the things i love the packaging just the whole experience of it is just yes it is very expensive um but i use the whole thing so to me i'm like okay i, I, I love it so i'm, I'm you know here we are you really want this but don't want to pay full price nordstrom tends to put these on sale pretty frequently like every couple of months they'll do like a beauty sale and the mark these down like 15 percent. it's actually when i picked up another shade so i yeah i love it i can't be without it it's that good finished up a maybelline super stay full coverage powder foundation but i use it as a setting powder this is in the shade 102 fair so there she is in all her glory I think this is a great setting powder. I don't use it as a powder foundation. I've never actually tried that. I just take a really big fluffy brush. I stamp it in there and stamp it on my face to set my foundation. And it's just, it's really great. I am already using another one. I have used so many of these over the years. I do think they reformulated and bumped the price up. You can still get this packaging and I'm assuming this formula on Amazon for like the cheaper price. I'm sure at some point that'll go away, but that is where I'm buying it for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and use up my last one here. It does start to break pretty good once you get towards the bottom. But yeah, I'm once I use this one up, I'm gonna get another one if it's still available. This next one is really sad, actually. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation, and I got it in the shade 120 Pearl. Medium coverage foundation, it says, I would say it's more like medium full. This is just a little too thick, and the fragrance of it, it I, I can't, I can't do it. When I was applying this, it felt and looked like a drugstore foundation from the 90s, you know? Like thick, cakey, smelled way too perfumey and not a, not a good smell. Um, didn't wear very well and just wasn't, didn't look good on my skin. So I think this works really well for a lot of people though, which is why I was super excited to try it. It just did not work out for me. Um, I tried doing a light layer. I tried sponges. I tried brushes. I tried all sorts of things. So I'm just, it's just not for me and that's okay. Okay. We made it. <laughs> Those are all of my empties for over the past couple of months. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.